This oh, is my, my, my third oldest. Third oldest. <laughs> we came once before, right? In the summer? This summer? We came this year. Yeah, you're coming Pesach. Some nush. Oh, chametz. The mitzvah, you eat chametz now. According to certain opinions, being, you're being yoyed to the mitzvah tashpiso. You're getting rid of the chametz. Some people are mahadr the whole year. Somebody once said, very well, we now must go and see what's in Buffalo with It's like two years from the character father. Like, thank you. Some people don't put the don't put on the table during during Pesach. I only put the farm on the table during Pesach. <laughs> okay, that boy said. He's looking what's happening. Ah, yes, boy. Okay, that boy said. So the Rav did he learn the Hilfa Seder? No, Seder no. I think we should learn a little bit of the say there. Yep. What's she? Simin Tof Ayin Bez. Tof Ayin Bez. Tof Ayin Bez. So, yeah. Dini has say, but ye shochane aruch of oid yoim. Today, la haskil has say the miad shetashik. You have the say the ready, and not an easy thing, but to have everything ready when it's day, when the right when it gets dark, so you can right away start to say the afim will be some madrish. Yakum miad kishetashak shemitsu la mayer la haspa say the shalatanekish lishnu. I tell you the umra. Even if you're learning in base Madrash, the Gemara says of Akiva, I think it was, he would stop learning as soon as it, and he went home. The children shouldn't fall asleep. The Torah said that you have to talk to the children that, the night of Pesach. So you have to start it earlier. It's harder now. We changed the clock already. It's late. Late. Yeah. Would good to sleep off? Ah, to make a nap. The problem is the children don't want to take a nap, so it's an issue. It's nice, we want to have. It's very nice. Hello, right? <laughs> we call Mokim, Le Yemayel, La Haspa, Kiddish, Koyedem, Shia, Vadai, Hashecha, and Siv Beis. Still, no, you should not start Kiddish until it's definitely dark. You can't do it in time of being a shmushish with Suffolk, Yoim, Suffolk Lila. And other days of Yantif, a person can be Moisim Mechel Akadish or Kadish Velechem Beidim. Another Yantif or Shabbos, you're allowed to start make, taking Shabbos early. Zaman Maidiv and make Kiddish early. Pesach, you can't do that. Come back in the Pesach, Ene Yako Lasis came. Shachilas matzo huksha lachilas pesach. The eating a matzo, the Torah compares to the eating a carbon pesach. Shnema, like it says, on matzois, umeroidim yichluhu. Or pesach nemer, the ochu sabosar, balayla hazeh, balayla mash. So the Torah says we have to eat the carbon pesach, al matzis umeroidim yichluhu, together with matzo mar. And by the carbon Pesach, what does it say? When is the time of eating it? So once you know the carbon Pesach, you have to do by night. Automatically, the al matzah similarly mechlul the matzah merry sister you the carbon Pesach have to be by night. Kiven shachilus matzah shumen atayin la balayla. Okay, that's matzah. But what does that mean? Why can't I make kiddush before night? Just because matzah we learn out from a hekish, it has to be a night from Pesach. But why the Kiddush, the first of the Al Qaisa, has to be one night? Give and Shil's Matzah Shina Torah in the Balailo, the Chain Gam Kol Harba Kaisa, Shitakamacha Chomim, Ene Ella Balaila, Bizman, Haroi, Lachilas Matzah. Shakol Masha Tiknu Chachomim, Kain Shal Torah Tiknu. Anything that the Chachomim set up, they set it up similar to the Torah. The Koishal Kiddush. 
Echad min ha'arba kaisas. The kais of the Kiddush is one of the Dal kaisas. The fichat tzarech ba'layla mamish. Ba'layla mamish ha'hoysa mechela ha'kaidash. You know, the Chachamim set up that Kiddush is the first of the Dal kaisas. Reality is two separate mitzvahs. There's a mitzvah of Dal kaisas. There's a mitzvah of Kiddush every Yom Tov you have a mitzvah of Kiddush. The Chachamim set up that the Kiddush and Ayla Pesach should be the first of the Dalek Hoysis. So you can't separate them. And since Dalek Hoysis is a Takana Midr Abonon, Ke'en Dir Aisatikon, like Matzah has to be a Laila Mamish, so Kiddush also has to be the night. So it's important thing to know, you can't start to say the earlier before night, make Kiddush earlier this night, the entire year. There's a riddle. There's one night a year. You can't make Kiddush before night. That is the night of Pesach. Is that both both nights or just one night here in Kushla or? Good question. Both nights. Shavuos is a minig you shouldn't. It's a good point. The minig Shavuos you shouldn't take in um, Dava Mayav early or make Kiddush early. But that's just a minig. Over here it's actual halacha. That you're not allowed to drink the first cup of the Dal of Kaisis on Erev on the Ba'id Yoyim has to be on Laila Mamish. It says that in there, which Sachem, the Tais Vice explains Rashi, the whole thing. Very nice, very good. I see you have a Bakir's. The Yechel Adam Ashatakshak, right? The Abbey Psachem Ashatakshak. I reviewed it with my, my great uncle today. Yeah. Who's your great uncle? Yassi Rothstein. Oh, very nice. Okay. Now, I'm going, let's just, I would like to, we don't have a lot of uh, as man to learn all the halachas. I'd like to skip a few halachas and move around a little bit. Um, let's take a look. Important halachas. If you doubt it. But Haseba. When does one need to do Haseba? Which part of the Seder is it? you need to have a Chiv to Haseba? By eating the Kazayis of Achilles Matzah. Why doesn't it start with the Kiddush? Who thinks you do it? Drink the Kiddush. Let's see. What? Make the sandwich. Doesn't mention matter, right? Good point, good diuk. And why, when you're eating the kricha, the sandwich of, of Hillel, the matzah, the mother, then you have to lean. Or b'shas achilas afikoyimin during the afikoyimin. Or b'shas shmulik b'shas the shia is dalit choices. Why does he start? It's a good question. Um, I don't know. He starts mentioning all the things on matter. Not sure. He starts all the yana of matter. Maybe he starts to start with the rice. Matter is the rice. Maybe he wants to start off with the rice. Why are these all these in the Should you should you do a seba? Shekol dvarim eloim zeicher legeula velchedus. Since the Chachamim <coughs> were massacring the four cups, Kenege, the four languages of Gaula, Hamurim, Mepashas, Veira, Veitsesi, Vegaalti, Velakachti, Vetsalti, I will take you out and I will redeem you. I will take you, I will take you and I will save you. Now, that's a Dalek crisis. Why do you have Afikoyim and Koyrich? Zeicha the Pesach. Zeicha to the carbon Pesach. Zeicha to the Pesach. Zeicha to the carbon 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 if you want to eat and drink without Haseba the rest of the meal, you're allowed. 
We don't have the koyach to demand that he should do a Someone who makes a seba throughout the meal, is praiseworthy. I think I have an answer for Shmuel. Yeah. It said, all this thing is zecher la geula. Arba kosot is arba leshonot shel geula. Maybe zecher is stronger than lashon. And the afikomen in the matzah is to to remember the geula. The afikomen is connected to the pesach, yeah. and the carbon pesach was supposed to be eaten in a geula dika way. The one thing which she doesn't explain here is why matzah. Why matzah do you have to remember? Matzah lechem oini. Matzah lechem oini. It's not something that was derech Even the oni should be Interesting. It doesn't say. He explains why the dal of shoni should go ulok. And he says, Afikai rekri chazeich lepeitach. And he doesn't mention he doesn't mention uh, matzah. He doesn't explain matzah. He said the dinner matzah, you have to. He doesn't explain why. The other question is your question that he skips out marr. Which seems obvious from the Shulchan Aruch. He doesn't say it has to be only things which are zeichet to the cheirus and the gula. Marr is the ingen of amirirus. One second, when you eat the more, you have to do a also? Hmm? When you eat the more, you have to do a I don't think so. No, we don't. We don't. No, well, because it's not zeichel lecheros. But in that you're, way, you're, the haseba is that you're trying to show that you're leaving as a relaxed. But then he said to eat the whole thing in the same. So it should be the more awesome. That's so, a very good shayla. That's an excellent shayla. I don't know. That's an excellent shayla. Because more is not a cheros. When you eat, when you eat more, is not a cheros. The sandwich you eat tomorrow and, and the rice is not cheros. So the, the kricha you do. The matzah in there. The, 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 the matzah part, part, part is zeicher yeah, to the carbon the paste. Not a cheres. I, 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 you know, I, I, it, it does. It's like interesting that he do what. Al kapanu you have no chiyuv. It doesn't say you're not allowed to. Yeah. You're right. allowed to. He's saying why you're why is there when is there a chiyuv on a zeicher the cheres? Right. You can mean the whole seder. You can mean the whole seder, but it's not the uh... right. It's even the mitzvah of her. But we're not mechayiv you. Is it could be a contradiction? We're eating tiris when we're eating maror. Not tiris. Right. And that's the mitzvah of mm-hmm. her. A whole meal is mitzvah of her, and in the chol including the maror. The people and, do it. Not in Chabad, they don't do that. The minute Chabad is that you don't do Haseba throughout the whole meal. I don't know what the Veld does. Have you ever seen anyone doing Haseba throughout the meal? I don't think so. I, I've never seen it. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think. It's also, it's also a difficult thing to do. Only certain things. There's certain things. When you eat the matzah, when you, when you have the Arab choices, yeah. you don't, uh, not, the whole world doesn't do it. I mean, it's... I, I can assure you that the women don't do it. We don't do it by carpas either. We're not. We're not even mesa by carpas. Right. Right. Just remember those those four things. Halim by. Actually, a good pillar. Yeah. Okay. Now. Um. What important halacha? Is Sif Tezvav. Call me Shetzarich Lahasiv, but Acha is Shasabale Haseba. If you ate and drank without Haseba, Tzarich Lahasiv Alech Lishab Haseba, you can't oh. do it again. So you're going to have to eat the whole matzah again. Wow. Apple, peace, she ate. If you're up by your rabbi's table, you're not supposed to. And right. you're at a rub's table, then you're not supposed to do a save unless he gives you permission. Correct. Isn't that a halacha? I think I learned that. Yeah, yeah, we skipped those halachas, but you're correct. Halacha is that by your Rebbe, 
You sit by and get up, but you don't, you're not allowed to until you get the shus. Because you're supposed to be sitting not relaxed in front of your Rebbe. The aim of a Yira. By the Rebbe, when people came to the Rebbe Seder, they didn't, they weren't, didn't do a Seba. Right? Before Tafshin Yud, before Tafshin Yud, uh, before Tafshin Yud, when the Fida Kemp was here, the Rebbe would not do a Seba. Later on, when the Rebbe, after the Rebbe, the Fida Kemp was installed, the Rebbe did a Seba, no one, but no one else did a Seba. Because the Rebbe, then the presence of the Rebbe. Was people in the Seder with the Rebbe? No, he just had a small minion of people by the Seder. There were other people you were allowed to come and watch from the side. Watch, but yeah. on the table, they just invited the, his mother-in-law. The Rebbe's mother-in-law was the previous Rebbe's Rebbetson. She invited some people around the table. And the Rebbetsons were in the kitchen. They had their own, say, all the yomt of meals. They, they were in the kitchen. And they, they had an a, 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 a entry, the doorway to, to the... But they had their own... Uh, and uh, and then the the, the Bachrim and certain people would come after they finished the Seder to come and watch and listen. I don't know. A good question. If you had a what? If you wash the station with the washer's hands. Some people have to uh, say No, they brought it to him. They brought it to him. Yeah. So wait, do I have to bring it to like my father? No, no. It's a different story. Oh. No. So, any had din, and if time you need Haseba, and for some reason you didn't, you forgot, you would have to go back and do it again. Do the drink the cup again, eat the mats again. There is a famous opinion of the Rabbi Yoh. The Rabbi Yoh was one of the Rishonim. And the Rabbi Yoh held that today's days that no one does Haseba, we don't need to do Haseba anymore. Haseba is meaningless today. Who does Haseba today? No one does have seba today. Everyone eats like regular. So in, in, in Western countries, no one does have seba. So therefore, you don't have to do have seba. So we rely on the opinion of Aviyah in cases of the Evid. If you already ate or drank matzah of Dawakoisis, whatever, what might have been, Afikoyman, the Kodach, without have seba, you rely on the Evid on the sheet of the Rabbi. You don't have to do Bukhlab as many, even the Chatzila. And we don't do it again. However, the Alter Rebbe adds in Mikoma Kenein Achilas Matzah Toiv Lahachmi Alachza Velacha Baseiba. When it comes to matzah, it's better to be strict, stringent, and to go again and eat a kazai of matzah baseiba. V'cheni koysheni imshasa b'alei haseiba yachsa v'yishta baseiba. Go to the second kois of the Dalar Koises. And you forgot, and you didn't it? do it by say, but you should drink it again. Yeah, you should drink it again with Haseba. Now, Rabbi Yeah says. Your second kois, your second kois of the dollar places. That Bayabragafan will cover you for any wine that you might drink in the middle of your meal. People like to say, drink some grape juice of wine during their meal. The you don't have to make another Bayabragafan. So, so too, in the case where you forgot to drink the second cup of Haseba, now you should drink. It's better to be Machmer and to drink again. With Haseba, but you don't need to make a Bayer Piyagaf on it because it, your Bayer Piyagaf covered you for any wine you're going to have afterwards. Oh, but Kiddush, you make for yeah, Piyagaf. Uh... No, yeah. then, but we make a separate Bayer Piyagaf on each dollar places because each one's its own mitzvah. Sfadim doesn't do that. Right. So I had to make right. one for everything, right? Yeah. No, they make one until Bechas and Muslim, one after. Oh, no. That's it. Yeah. Wait, so. That's what I used to do in my house. Even though I was going to say, I said, this is my minhag, and you follow me. 
So the third, the third bar per gafen, you make a bar per gafen. We make a three. We make Chabad four by a The minute Ashkenaz right. make four by a What well, the the third one's in the middle of the is over Berches Amazim. Why don't we change? Oh, the last one is is uh, after the Halal, Yeah. Right. After, okay. Why don't, yeah, why don't we say? Why don't we say we're going to make our gefen after the first one, then our gefen after the second one, and etc. We only make it by the la- after the last. Coast, why? We're talking, we drink four different coasts, but we don't make an allegation on it. Right. So mm-hmm. actually, we make an allegation the ending of the Seder. Oh, and that covers the. Yeah, the that's, last, that covers all four, in other words. No, 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 the last two. Because the the Bechas Amazin covers you for the first two. The first two. Uh-huh. Okay. Why is it that? During the year, uh, when you make the covers, why do you drink during the meal? But here you're saying that the second case, uh, uh, Burpee doesn't cover anything you'll drink during the meal. Why, why shouldn't the first uh, uh Very good, Shiloh. Very good, Shiloh. So the answer the is... The first bracha should cover the... the should cover the... Um, everything. The, the, the second case also. It's a good point. However... Since there's no dead, no. The Gabi each kois of the dollar kois, so Chachamim said clearly you, have, you should make a, a, sec, a separate barrier for Gavin, each one because there are distinct mitzvah, each mit, one of the dollar kois. So even though if mitzad birches and really the first cup should cover the second cup, but Chachamim were masakin to make a separate barrier for Gavin, each one mitzad the chashivas of the dollar kois. But what your question could be is what happens if you drank the first cup and you forgot to do it with Haseba. And now the halach is me'ikar, then you don't have to drink it again because we rely on the opinion of the Aviyah that today's days you don't need to do Haseba b'chlal. We don't look at Chila Pasch in that way. But at the end, we follow the sheet of the Aviyah and you don't have to do it again. However, the Shulchan Aruch said that's toiv to be machmer, better to be machmer and to drink it again or eat the matzah again. The question is, what do you do with the Bayer Piyag Gafen? So, if it's a second cup that you forgot to do Baseba, and you're going to drink, be machmer, drink a second cup, no problem, because you don't have to say another Bayer Piyag Gafen. Because your second cup is right before the meal. That Bayer Piyag Gafen covered any wine you're going to have afterwards during the meal. So if you drink another cup, you were covered already with that with that, with that Piyag Gafen. But the first cup, uh, the first cup, doesn't cover a second cup after in the middle. Like if you forgot to do Bahasib on the first cup, you're going to take a second cup, you're going to have to make a Bari Piyag on the second cup. Why is that the case? Because the derech is not to drink from the Kois Aleph to Kois base. It's the derech, it's not Osir, but it's not the derech to drink between the first cup and the second cup. No one drinks, he's busy with the Haggadah. So, make, make so therefore, since that's not the minute to drink, it's not the derech to drink, so when you made a Bayer Piyag in your first cup, you didn't have in mind, even consciously, subconsciously, that you're going to be drinking wine soon, that your Bayer Piyag should cover you. So therefore, when you make a mistake, and you by accident drink Kiddush, and you do not sip lean Bahaseba, and now you want to be Mahader to drink it again Bahaseba, you're going to have a problem. Because now you're going to have to say a Bayer Piyag on that new cup of wine. Because you didn't have a mind that you're going to drink anymore. You thought, and now I'm going, saying the Haggadah for the next hour till I get to the next cup. So you had not have a mind you're drinking, you have to make a second bear program. What's the problem? Make another bear program. What's the big deal? So why, why don't the halach is that we don't, Chacham did not want, you should add any kaisas to the Dalai places. And when you're saying bear program on another kais, now you've added a fifth cup to the evening. Chacham said four cups. If you're going to drink without making a Bayer Piyag Gafan on it, because you don't need to, like after the second cup, if you made a mistake, mm-hmm. not a problem. You're not look like you're adding to the Alakoyis because you're not saying a Bayer Piyag Gafan. But after the first one, if you made a mistake, you didn't do Ba'a Seba. Now you're going to have to drink again. You're going to be Mahmer Mahadah to drink again. You're going to have to make a Bayer Piyag Gafan. 
you make it by a priya gafin, you're getting yourself into the problem that it seems like you're adding to the dollar crisis. You have now a fifth cup that you said by a priya gafin. Chacham did not want that, so better not to be mahadr and don't shrink the kites of Kiddush again. So we should say now that's the first time. The Allah Geffen is different. The Allah Geffen, you can wait for the Bechat Ramazan, and the third cup will cover you for the first two cups. It will cover the Sudan cups. The question is the Bari Pia Gafen. So Halacha Lamaisa, if someone made a mistake and drank the first cup Kiddush, he forgot and he did not lean when he drank the Kiddush. You do not drink another cup and you just go further. It's not ma'akiv. It's not ma'akiv, you just go further. However, the second cup is the only cup that if you made a mistake and you drank with ala seba, there is a hidr and a khumra to drink it again. You're not chayif to drink it again. There's a hidr and a khumra to drink it, but without a very prayer cup. What did you say? With a seba, yeah. How about somebody, if they bring on the table better wine, you can do a tova and a tip? Why not? It's not like adding up? No, only the very pair of In Chabad, you don't really see them they're making a tova made of the wines. Bichla? No, no. Not really. I was once in Shabbos over here, and I saw somebody making a tova made so this is a ten dollar bottle and this is seven dollar bottle. Yeah, You're going low, not higher. <laughs> no, I didn't know. <laughs> it's a bottle of a dollar. I think Abbe Meraza makes a table made. Well, we make. He, he, he did say, he, Rabbi Meraza said we should make. He we should. Yeah, we should. Okay. He right. We all one, you should so make. It's really good quality. It's yeah, brought in Swat and then for some reason they became like a mimic that people don't make Hatayva Meitiv. It says it could be because there are various halachis of when it's applicable and you don't want to get yourself into a shiloh so people didn't make the Hatayva Meitiv. Right? Today's days a lot of people don't make Shekhiyonu. In Chabad they don't make Shekhiyonu on clothing. But I think there are some Litvish communities that still make Shekhiyonu. Antalus, yes. They buy themselves something chashev, they make a shachiyam. Antalus, even. Antalus, maybe when they buy a suit, I don't know, they buy a suit? No, no not anymore? It's not a chashev. <laughs> Today, you know, a suit, a mall, a suit, what was a suit? You didn't go and buy off the rack. There was no racks in Europe. You didn't go off the rack. You make it. You make it. So you have to first go to the fabric store. You pick it. out which fabric you, you want. To the tailor. You get measured, you go to the tailor, and the tailor cuts it, you come back. It's a whole process. It was a and when did you do it? Once a year. Uh, you, you wear that same suit. You had your one suit for the week, one suit for Shabbos and Yamtiv, and that was it. No wardrobe. And 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 and, and, and the, the, the whole it was a different chaim. You had a chasanit, you got yourself a new suit. But it was this was the so then it was a very big simcha. People were poor. Most of Klai you saw was poor. So this is a big simcha to get yourself a new a new suit. You, this is like your clothing that you wear. Today, what does it mean that you buy a new suit? You go over here, you get $50, you get yourself a suit, and you, you go to the right place, and you go here and there, and you have in Iraq five, ten suits. And so it's like, you know, it's a Dara Shema, but clothing became today not as chashev anymore. So it's not chashiv to buy a new suit, especially if you're very well. It's important that we have to machabed yom to, to, to do something, but you but, don't yeah. find the gabi de bircha shachiyanu today, it's not as common to see people saying bircha shachiyanu. You know, we also don't say the Shulchan Aruch says that the Gemara says that the is that if you see a, monk, a monkey, Baruch she, Mishana Habriyat. Mishana Habriyat, yeah. you, you see an uh, elephant. You say, uh, Sabracha. You have Mapil? Hamapil. There's Brachas, you say. <laughs> and they would see a midget. Shana Habrias, who saw a midget? I see. You see, it says, uh, I see, it says, uh, so you see a black man. Is that a special Bracha? With Baruch Mashana Habrias. Now, today, no one's saying these Brachas. What's the reason for this? We <laughs> see these things every day. Then, who in Eretz Yisrael, who in Bavel, ever saw someone black? Never saw such a thing their whole life. You one time saw it today, everyone sees everything today. You can go to the zoo, you go on the street. 
and people see on the on, 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 in, in, in the in, in the in the papers and the videos, people see everything. Therefore, it's not a chiddush anymore. Not a chiddush. Svaradim. I think I heard from Rabbi Heller in Kran Heights, He said when he was in Switzerland, at one time, a black person came to visit them in town. The whole town came out to see him. Whoever saw a black man, the whole town came out to see. What so, you see in place like this, there was no, uh, there was no uh, immigration then, you know. And, and America is a melt was a melting pot. So Everyone just, came here. But who's going? You know, people are immigrating to Russia. Who's going to Russia? No one's going to immigrate to Russia. They're trying to leave Russia. So there are places in the world where you don't see what you see in America. The vast differences, different types of people and culture. You don't see. Only, only the Shluchim are emigrating to Russia. <laughs> and the, the specific ocean make a bracha. Atlantic or Pacific Ocean. You see people making a bracha, you know? No, well, I heard this, but you don't see it more than 30 days. It doesn't specify it here, but I heard it is more than 30 days you have to. I wonder if the oil is noyig, you know. Today it became also it said if you didn't see your friend for thirty days, oh, I mean, yeah, Shechianu, and, and if you don't see well, uh, for twelve months, it's the mechayim mason, right? People do this today. Well, someone did do it to me. Someone did it to you, and he was very happy. Was very happy to see you. I don't feel slightly. You mean for Zoom? I feel slightly. If you're what? No, it's Faradim, the Khatam, the Bain Nilkabit, and the Mek Shechiana. But the Kupa. This is hard to say what? I can attest to this. Under the Kupa, the Khatam says Shechiana. Or the whole car. Someone else said Shechiana. Over the other talent. I can't do that. Make it uh, eight my, grand, my granddaughter got married two weeks ago, so I was there oh, next. Wow. Time. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That we are there. I'll be honest, I didn't look into it yet. Rabbi Miraz of the big Bucky and Brahe. I don't know. A good question. Maybe he holds you have to make a brach. You see in the Siddur over there, it says, He says, when on, on top of that brach, uh, the Yamagodum. Right. I don't know the reasons. The Yamagodum is not the Yamagodum. The Yamagodum is I don't know the reasons. I don't know the Swaras back and forth on that issue. I mean, that was a very big expert in brachas, learning brachas for many, many years. Awesome. It's it, A lot of things change today. People seeing friends, people today. Have a phone. You had a phone, so you don't feel like you missed the person so much. You could speak to them on the phone every day. That's right. Say hello. Now you can not only speak to them; you could see them, see them on video, FaceTime, see but WhatsApp. They, 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 they see them. We're looking right now, right? My son is pointing out. We're sitting in the Zoom. We see, we see David Sabgir enjoying his uh, his his place in Boca Library. So. <laughs> great, great. So we, we see it's a different world today. So you're going to see him in person. To say Shachiyano is a little bit funny. You saw him. You saw him every day. You see him today. So people don't have that anymore. Years ago, you saw him way to yeshiva to Eretz Yisrael. Forty years ago, you didn't make any phone calls, and he just sent a letter. You know, and 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 he finally comes home after a year being in yeshiva. Yeah, they said a said a bracha. It was a chashav azach, but. Today it's, it's it doesn't mean anything anymore. People are talking every single day, every five minutes, every well, every ten minutes, the texting. So there's no chashivas anymore. I have a cousin that listens in their back. I also have spoken with them. You know, uh, when it's a simple, they come here every once every several years. So they welcome. If you have a simcha salev, you know, I want to tell you some Hasidim did say a shachiyano when they saw the Rebbe for the first time. Hasidim uh, came to the Rebbe the first time. Uh, they would come and they would see the Rebbe the first time, and the Rebbe would stop when he heard them saying, and he would answer on me. The first time when they came to see the Rebbe. So I'll tell you, 
Sim, if you have a real simcha salev, you can make a shachianu. If you're really happy, make a shachianu. I asked the rabbi, I bought a talis after eight years after the chasen, I bought myself a talis, a new talis. So he asked the rabbi, he said, if you feel a simcha salev, that you didn't have a talis for eight years, you're getting yourself a a talus, a chash of a thing, make a shachiyam. Same way, they should be with Susa. You buy a Susa once every eight years. Hey, Ami. That person who waits 80 years and finally got himself a naya suit. Because in the model, it says, Shaim Rasmid Talus. Doesn't mean a talus, it means a baguette. Right. It's a baguette, right? How about the bracha if uh, you had a nest and you'll be in the same place again after a year? Baruch Shahasali, Nes, Bamakoba Zeh. You have to say that. Yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, Right. Okay. Then you could say, yeah. However, today in the morning, by by Kanshul, I saw something I never saw before. I saw for Torah Shlishi. The guy said, "A donut for his wife." And she gave birth? I don't know what, but, and then Rabbi Khan explained, he don't say, mm -hmm. he said, like he said, he said, he said, I never, I never saw it before. You could say, I was at a place where a guy's wife came out of surgery, and he said, uh, he said, but that very often, yeah. 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 You should know there are women that say after they give birth. Yes, sir. Yes. They come to shul and they say it behind the mechitza. No, no. I, I even, I even, even though, even though ninety nine percent of people chabad don't do it, but there's a percent of people that do it, and I've seen them do it. I was there when they, the lady did it. Yeah, she knew the the husband came and said, "My wife needs to say agaimo." She stood behind the mechitza. She said agaimo. Right here, Kedusha. This is a that the that the women, the first time they leave the house, should be for Davish of Kedusha. So they don't, they come to Shul and they hear Kedusha. I have it all the time by us in the Koilo. Where the wives come, uh, come they, they find a place for them. They, there's no, there's no vibe Shul during the week by us, but they'll stand on the steps uh, and they'll, they'll, they'll wait for the Kedusha. Right, Baruchu, Kedusha. You know, all things were different. The women didn't leave after the birth, they didn't leave the house for a month. Right now, after one day, they're running around. So it's a whole different uh, case. You know, women stay in the hospital if uh, well, they didn't let them leave for two weeks. You know, today, after 24 hours, they don't let you stay there. Yes, they send you out, you know, and the COVID, they were like, you know, out the door. <laughs> we don't want anyone here, right? Good. Yeah, that's what it was. They sent you, they sent you right out. Yes, we have Mario today. I can look outside. I had a daughter born during COVID and uh, she was named on the, on the porch across the street, you know. This <laughs> COVID. <laughs> It was on a Tuesday, uh, Monday. Uh, I think it was born on Sunday, but uh, next day. Well, it's a Shabbos, Monday morning, and uh, oh, yeah. those days. But they didn't want you to stay in the hospital, and they, they went themselves. They didn't let you in, you know. The can women can do gomer among themselves? I don't know. It's a good question. I have to look it up. It's a good question. Yes, sir. 
And Abayi said, the Ikkah is we should feel chayros and we should have the Geula ready. The Naf Tzadis, Kali says the Naf Tzadis. Especially now in Israel. Tzadis, Agave Tzadis. And only should be Simcha, Eden Safar, and Achim Golis. We should have the Geula, Hamitz, and Hashleim, and the Pei. Like we say, Ben Noichal Sham, and Azvachim, and Absachim. We should be able to eat the carbon Pesach this year. Yishalayim. Amen. Harris, is there going to be a shear next Monday or no? Yeah, yes, for sure. I spoke with Abim Raza, it seemed like we're not no, going to have a shear. No, no, I'm anyway, not going to person not going to be here because I'm we're going to no, have to Sunday night. Oh, if the airport will be open. <laughs> I heard it was closed today, right? I know, so we tried to without them. No, no, they're open. They're open it's in the end. They're not forced to open it, but they're trying to very hard to close. Who? Oh, the, the administrators? Rabbi Rabbi, Rabbi, it's going to be your second days? The last, the, the first Monday after Pesach, I'm not going to be back, and uh, my brother is going to give a shim. My brother, Avram, is going to be. Yeah, he was a couple times Yeah. And the Talmud from your Kolel was here last week. It was very good. Yeah, Zion's. Zion's. Yeah, he did send me a guy. He told me he sent me a guy. Yeah, he Okay, we'll have to send them again. This Sunday is Rabbi Marozov Apsha and his grandson from Texas is here. Oh, wow. They're, they're going to be here for Pesach. Yeah, they're, they're already here. Oh, wow. Very nice. Oh, they came already? Yud The baby's born on Yud Alaf Nissen. Very nice. I, so. I don't know what to do with my son's Apsha in this. In, 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 I have my son is turning one now, Erev Pesach. Last year, Erev Pesach. The Apsha in this. The Erev Pesach Apsha in this. Second to Miron. Uh, 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 Interesting. Out of Pesach, you're not traveling to Maron. <laughs> when Pesach in two years? Pesach two years in Pesach. Pesach. I have to make an option in Shabbos. My older brother. It's Shabbos? Yeah. You looked it up? Yeah, Pesach. Oh, wow. So no, old... then, that's all that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing it during like Boimer. Really. <laughs> <laughs> no, a lot of people do it in the third year. It doesn't have to be necessarily. I have to do it like Boimer. If they're parents are saying. You have to do it like Boimer. It's time to go you to Maron. I have to go to Maron. You're right. No, you're right. Uh, uh, Maron? <laughs> My older brother, Brice, was an Arab, Arab based on the morning. Oh, wow. Wow. So wow. what about uh, Mizonot? Everything was okay, all in the morning. And we finished the boys and... What about Mizonot? It's sort of a nice, a nice breakfast, a nice Bukhanan stick of breakfast. The wine. The question is, where do you do it? You got to find a place, that, uh, a hole. I made it on outside. Okay, if it's nice weather, you can make outside. Uh, it's cold, it wasn't a problem. Uh, it wasn't rain. Really. No, we should all have a kosher and freilich and Pesach. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, man. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Yeah. to everyone. Yeah, oh, Shukriya. Oh, oh, kosher and freilich and Pesach, everyone. Oh, Amen. Oh, 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 o